how much do you think of that case was because 50 Cent was sort of amplifying your situation? Because I remember he was on... Because you're Vlad, I've waited all this time to give you this. I'll give you the answer. Okay. But, you know, if you talk to me about 50 in this case, I'm going to say he been talking to the police. He's been talking. And I'm not saying I think he... he Hello? Yeah, this this Curtis. <laughs> I think he does that. I think he does that. He's a very unique individual because here's a guy who starts beef and pretends that he is the bully and the roughest, toughest nigga on the face of the earth. Right? Mm -hmm. And then he tells on you. It's like the biggest oxymoron and the biggest mind-fucking trickery to the public. With, you know, those that don't know think this guy's ill and he's tough. But when you look at it, and and please, 50, if you're looking, he asked the question. I don't give a fuck about talking about you. And I know you'll make a meme. Go ahead, make a meme or some shit, right? But he's fooled the world. Well, I mean, I he remember. He says, we're pussy. And I'm soft and pussy. But he's the one that got shit done to him. And how are we pussy? Like, what, what, when you think about that, we're pussy? You the one that got touched. But, you know, my man, you know, my man says it all the time. Yeah, 50 don't want beef. He, just, he wants everyone to go to jail. Jimmy Henchman, like, he, they, they, they roughed up his son. Yeah. Right. So when he takes care and does what any man would do who touches his son or whatever, and these guys is telling yeah, they calling and telling. They calling and telling. So, you know, if we talk conspiracy theory, we're just talking conspiracy theories, right? But if you get shot, what's going to happen? If I get shot? If you get shot, what you think is going to happen? I'll go to the police. No, what I'm saying is they're coming to you. When you're in your bed, shot the fuck up. Mm -hmm. I think the police and the feds came to him. And I think he told them a great story of Irv Gotti and Kenneth Supreme McGriff. And I think he's been telling them stories. I think he still tells them stories, which kind of probably makes him feel untouchable because he's with the police. So he could beef with anybody. He's with the police. Well, I think the most interesting thing, and I'm going to leave, you know, the other stuff is between y'all, but I think from the outside looking in, the fact that he would make fun of Ja Rule for singing, but he really made a lot of his career by singing engine of and chaos. being melodic. It's an engine of chaos. You know, some, certain people say, you know, you get shot here, right? He, he got shot in his mouth. You're like, that's inches, right? Mm -hmm. This is just me talking, everybody. It's not a thing, but you know. Who saved him? People be like, God. Your first thing is, yo, God saved this guy. Maybe the devil, maybe, maybe Satan saved him. Because he's a great engine of chaos. I don't think God would save somebody who moves like that. I don't think God would save somebody who disrespects his own family and is just, just everything you think of 50 is just negative. He's, he's just an engine of negativity, beef, chaos. Sounds like he's with Satan to me, man. I think, you know, Satan was like, I'm going to use you. You're, you're, you're going to be great for me. You know, Satan is the uh, the angel of music. You know the story of Satan? Satan is the angel of music? Satan was an angel. Well, I know he was an angel. He got banished. He's a, a fallen angel. Right. He got banished because he thought he was bigger than God. Hmm. And he banished him to hell. I know about this because a segue is I have a movie with Paramount that I'm making. Thank you, Paramount and Bob Backish. And it's, it's the story of a rapper who sells his soul to the devil to gain the heights of fame and fortune. Are, are you saying the story is about, no, no, about 50? Okay. No, it's not about it's not a, it's not about 50 at all. Okay, got it. It's just a dope story. Got it. You know what I'm saying? Because I see parallels within the hip hop world and the hip hop community where I could associate it with the devil. Like most rappers, they have a girlfriend, ride or die. 
Mm-hmm. As soon as when they become big, they fucking everybody. You can easily put that that's the devil's work. Mm. You know, with hip hop, it's a lot of chaos with beefs and competition. You could put the devil associated with that. You know what I'm saying? 